of morons. I appreciate your racist words. There's nothing racist about what I'm saying. You could be any color doing the same stupid shit. White people have done it. Bam. Black people have done it. Bam. You know who doesn't do it very often? Yellow people. I really like them for that. But who cares? Isaiah 55 verse 11. Oh, yo. So shall my word be that going forth out of my mouth. The words that come or proceed out of the mouth of the Most High. Most High! Most High! Return unto me, fool! Shall not return unto me, void. These things will as of the ability which God giveth. <laughs> <laughs> I know that might be racist in some way. I don't know if it might or might not be. This is the funniest fucking shit. <laughs> he said, <laughs> That's the most brilliant fucking shit. I'm telling this guy needs his own fucking YouTube channel. Hey, what's up, guys? It's me, TSP Rav Shiva. So I was just watching this um, this thing on an atheist that, that cussed out the black Hebrew Israelites. I have my own version of the black Hebrew Israelites. I think they're pretty funny, but this guy is fucking hilarious. And uh, I don't laugh at a lot of stuff, but some stuff just tickles the shit out of me. <laughs> you have to watch it to see it, so let's watch. So, slavery is cool. Definitely. And, and it's okay to sell your raped daughter to a rapist. That's Deuteronomy. 22, 22. See, you don't read the book. You're just dumbasses. You don't okay, actually okay, so read the book. Oh. Read the book. Oh. Go read the stupid book you're out here pretending is God's word. Why don't you read it if you think it's God's word? What have we been <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, the reason I'm laughing so hard, this is fucking hilarious. Because I kind of understand why he's so fucking upset. I mean, these guys do say some fucked up shit when they're out in the street. And uh, it's like... <laughs> This, he's like losing his fucking mind. It's great, but he's got great point. He's got a great point. You know, he's like read the book, and when they do read, they start like shouting and yelling shit. <laughs> you know, it's like <laughs> this is pretty funny. Let's watch. Deuteronomy 22, 29. No, you're not reading. You're reciting. You don't know what reading is. You don't know what actually contemplating the concepts and meaning of the words in the context. Of the people who wrote them is your dumbass motherfuckers who shout shit on the street. You're not scholars. You're moron masses. You're a man. <laughs> okay, guys. I know some people might think that, that what he's saying is racist or whatever the case may be. It's not. He's actually pointing out the obvious. These guys do get out in the fucking street and start yelling and screaming shit. That makes no fucking sense. I've heard them say some shit that made me stop. I'd be like, did I just hear what the fuck I just heard? And I turn around and listen. I was like, yep, sure as hell did hear it. <laughs> They're talking about how they're going to, like, you know, uh, one day be able to take white people and enslave them and all this other stuff. And I'm like, isn't that completely, like, almost ironic and hypocritical in the sense at the same time? Because the same exact thing that you despise, that you fought against, you know, and that you stand up against is what you want to do to someone else. It makes no fucking sense. But um, I guess, you know, this is the world we live in, guys. Um, it's uh, no wonder Christ hated hypocrites so much because it's just funny to listen to them. I mean, it's funny, but I mean, it's also dangerous, too. But at the same same time this shit is fucking hilarious i just love seeing when people just come out and just speak their mind like that as hard as it is for people to accept it it's also funny as shit and it's it's actually kind of nice to hear the truth from people like what they really feel and look at where they choose to like do their recording i don't know if this guy's recording for them or what the case is right now but usually they do have like people recording them but they're standing against a backlight, which makes them look like literally like black shadows, which is even fucking funnier. It makes like kind of like sets the mood here. And they're all dressed. Look how they're all dressed. They're literally all dressed like like literally like it looks like thug outfits. I mean, you got the the hoodies, the black hoodies, the black uh, or the baseball caps. I mean, this shit is fucking hilarious. And it's like you know, if you ever, I guess, if you ever think that if there were representatives of god that they would have you know those flowing gowns that you always see kind of fits the mold better like you know the people i, I don't know that's what it feels like but when people you know if you see imagine imagine like god comes back from heaven now right and the first person you see all the people that see five people step out they look just like these guys and they start shouting shit like these guys <laughs> <laughs> 
You know how fucking weird that would be? <laughs> and we are the most high. Fuck the white man. <laughs> you know, it's just like, wait a second. I thought God was, God was supposed to be about love. You know, it's like, where did all this shit come from? <laughs> and I'd be like, wait a second. That might be the Antichrist here. <laughs> So, I'm sorry guys, but this shit just tickles the shit out of me. It's, it's just funny. Happen. Otherwise, we would have to agree that God is a liar. Right? We know that's not true. Uh, oh, it is. It is. It is. It is. Well, everybody it is. I can here prove it. Andrew believes that's not true. Oh, yeah? Right? Does every man here believe God is not a liar? I believe God is not. I Period. On so, both sides of the fence right now, except you, because... You're in your own little world. Right. I, I'm minuscule. Even if we don't have anything else to agree on, we believe in the God of the Bible. Right? Because you're stupid. Go ahead. What's his name? That's fine. What, what's your God's name? The, the name of God is dribbling on your people. Dribbling on your people? Dreadful. Okay, but what is it? But it's all accomplished. Oh, it's that but. It's I believe. His name and is but. And it's all prosper in the... <laughs> this guy's fucking hilarious, man. He's like, I would love to see a video of him alone, like going to these places and just heckling people. He should make a fucking YouTube video because I, I wouldn't be the biggest fan of his because it's kind of funny when you see people opposing them, but he's on a level where he's just like, he doesn't care. He's not afraid. Usually they try to use intimidation to, you know, to voice their opinions of God, but this guy's fucking great, man. I wish I wish he had his own fucking YouTube channel. Oh, I, I told you I'd be his biggest fan. It'd be great. I can't wait. Hopefully he'll do it. That's fucking hilarious. As soon as he started asking them questions, that one guy that always, there's always that one guy that reads the Bible and he's like, bah, 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 bah. the Lord said, and this is fucking great. <laughs> it's like the angriest, the angriest fucking prophets in the world. <laughs> I mean, I got the nickname the pissed off Hindu when I was doing comedy back in the day. These motherfuckers are fucking angry. <laughs> the most angriest fucking prophets in the world. They come out to spread the love and the gospel. <laughs> and God said, let all these motherfuckers die. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm just in a funny mood, but that's hilarious. The thing where to I sent it. So, words. It's going to be at least a, uh, from uh, uh, This guy is so fucking funny. He's doing so fucking cartoon dancing. That's like from fucking Bugs Bunny. If anybody ever seen Bugs Bunny back in the day, that was like the Bugs Bunny dance. <laughs> Can you imagine some guy, like, look at his face. He's like a cartoon character. He, and I bet you he's not even high. I bet you he's, because he was drinking a vitamin drink just now. If you looked, he's just fucking angry. And sometimes anger, when it takes over, can make you do crazy shit just like this. You know, when you lose control. But I can only imagine, you know, let's say if the, if I'm Indian, right? Let's say every day I walk by and I hear a group of five, let's say, black people or white people. doesn't matter what color they are, right? And all they do is talk about, and one day the Indian man will be this and suck our dicks. And, they'll, you know, it's like every day you hear this, at some point you're going to want to turn around and be like, listen, motherfucker. You know, it's like... <laughs> I know this isn't very spiritual, but guys, this shit is fucking funny. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> and this guy is fucking alive. I, I, I hope you come out with a YouTube channel, dude. I really do, because I'll be your biggest fan. So, give me uh, Obadiah 1.15. Obadiah. What they're doing is spitting racist bullshit about you and I and I and his, maybe his, maybe not, it depends on your brand. But if you're black, you're cool and you get to be the owner of us and our children. And stuff. These guys, they don't read anything. They just come out on the street and start shouting shit. Oh, I, I'm letting them do it, but I like to heckle it. Because somebody's got to come be, speak sense every once in a while. Most of the time, I just go to the bar. Every once in a while, I come to the bar. And you know, last, last time I did this, I paid a guy to hit me, and, and this motherfucker with the big beard, who's in charge because he's got the biggest beard. Um, <laughs> apparently that's, 
The longer your beard. What is it? Like, no shit. If this guy did stand up, I would fucking watch it. I mean, I think he's that fucking funny. I mean, he might be a little. Well, which, which comedian isn't a little off his fucking rockers, including myself? Okay. I'm just saying the guy's fucking hilarious. Yeah, he's just. When he loses it, it's the best. It's like he's on point when he loses it. It's like he starts, like, making fun of them in such a way. It's just. You know, the funny thing is that you wouldn't think anybody would challenge him. And here's this one little white guy, like, skinny white dude. And he's, like, challenging these five thug like looking black dudes that are preaching all this bullshit <laughs> i think it's fucking great I, I like i said i hope you do stand up i hope you get your own fucking uh, youtube channel and i will be the biggest fan that you have bro this is fucking great oh those left the alive of jacob's people blah 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 you gotta fucking love this guy <laughs> Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> That's exactly how they do sound, though. <laughs> Look, I get it. I totally get, like, you know, the, what they're preaching their shit. But he's preaching his shit right now. <laughs> I find his shit more entertaining than their shit. To be honest, he's got the best fucking... <laughs> blah, 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 blah. This is fucking brilliant shit, man. I love this guy. I wish you would, like, get a YouTube channel, dude. You'll be famous. Israelites will be scattered among these nations. But they were already destroyed. How can they be scattered? They will be among many people. I'm so confused. They will be like a lion amongst the animals of the forest. What did y'all expect to happen? Y'all was gonna come out here on this street talking this good talk. Oh. Oh. Get it right. Oh. You're a good talk. <laughs> the racist who want to enslave me and my children. They, that's bullshit. Bad. You see, that's what I don't understand. Don't call it good talk. Because as You're a wrong. black man, you laughing at this man. Damn. Look, he's got a great fucking point in what he's saying. He's like, they're out in the middle of the fucking street talking about enslaving him and his kids and basically raping them and shit. They do say stuff like that. I've heard it. I've heard it when I was in New York City and listening, walking down the street. That was part of their fucking thing. And it's like, you know, you have to stop and really think about this shit. Why are they being allowed to do that? You know, if you've seen a bunch of white people out there doing the same fucking thing, that would be kind of weird, right? It would be like the KKK or um, or something along those lines, right? And uh, this is this is some funny shit. I mean, it, but he's making a point, too. So got to give him credit there. Some black people. I don't have any wisdom! Oh god! Oh god! Where's my wisdom? Somebody bring me some wisdom! He's doing it for the camera. No, I mean, he can tell you what, what, what the crazy. fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Fools don't die from no wisdom. They have food, water, shelter. They don't need wisdom. <laughs> hey, it's really quick. William, Matthew. Look at you. No wisdom. Still surviving. Uh, Matthew 8 20. Matthew 8 20. Bring it to the law and to the testimony. If they speak not according to this word, if they speak not according to this word, it is because there's no light in them. It is because there's no light in them. There's light in me. What are you talking about? Words. Especially a biblical conversation. If we are trying to come to uh, any kind of understanding, First Peter four verse eleven. Read now, out. any man speak. My Peter is first. Speak. Let him speak as the oracles of God. Let him speak according to the laws of God. No, no, no. He's a man minister. Look, it's not racist what he's doing. He's like a fucking kid. He's like, <laughs> how fucking brilliant is this shit? <laughs> I, can't, I can't even stop laughing because. <laughs> okay, let me stop now. <laughs> Matthew 4 and 4. Bring it out. <laughs> but he answered and said, Stop! It is, it is written. This is Jesus Christ. Word! Man shall not live by bread alone. <laughs> this guy's fucking hilarious. He just yelled out, Word! <laughs> this is. <laughs> This is fucking if you can't laugh at this shit, you gotta be fucking crazy. This is fucking the, like some of the funniest shit I've seen. I, I mean, I just I just love this shit. This is great. Okay, guys, look, I just want to <laughs> put it, put it, put it. Put it, put it, put it. <laughs> He's like, put it, put it. <laughs> sometimes these motherfuckers sound just like that. You can't understand any fucking thing they're saying, and they're fucking yelling and screaming at the top of their lungs, reading out of the Bible. I mean, if you know, I can't, if you know, honestly, this is like, like, just funny shit. This is like what it comes down to. Like I said, some people, I mean, you have to react to some of this stuff. You know, it's hard to, like I said, to see this every day and 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 not react to it. 
Um, oh my god, that shit was hilarious. Look, I don't have anything spiritual to say about any of this. It's just funny. It's, it's hilarious. But this guy, he should really make a YouTube channel or do comedy or some shit. He's got a fuck. If you can make me laugh, you're a funny motherfucker. I can tell you that if you can make me laugh. I don't laugh at everything unless, like, I'm doing an open mic and I try to support people. That's the only time I, you know, I give a lot of laughs, you know, to try to help people feel better. But other than that, I don't really laugh. And when I do, it's the shit like this, the real shit that you see on the street. So, guys, look, I'll leave you with that. Like I said, there's, I don't have anything to add to this. The shit was fucking hilarious. I just wanted to sit there and watch it and listen to this guy. And I, every time I see these guys talking, all I'm going to hear is, whatever the hell he said. It's fucking great. Guys, have a great night. I'll see you in the next video, okay? Talk to you soon.